Thank you for calling the Walmart Global Ethics Helpline. For service in English, please press 1. Para servicio... To maintain confidentiality, this call is being answered by Global Compliance, an independent third-party provider. This line is available to Walmart associates, customers, and suppliers. Please listen to all options before making your selection. If you are calling for the number to your regional office, please press 1. If you have questions regarding the coaching policy, associate transfer policy, scheduling, or the hiring process, including rehire process, please press 2. If you have questions regarding customer relations or would like to discuss your shopping experience, please press 3. If you have a question or need guidance regarding Walmart's statement of ethics, or would like to report a violation of Walmart's statement of ethics, please press 4. We are here to document your concerns or requests for guidance as they pertain to the statement of ethics. We will ask you a series of questions related to the facts surrounding your concern or question. From this interview, we will create an actionable report to be sent promptly to your company for investigation. Calls are not recorded or traced. Press 1 to be connected with the next available communication specialist. Thank you for holding. My name is Shakira. Are you looking to file a new report or follow up on an existing report? Uh, I need to file a new report. Uh, yes, um, my brother and I have been retaliated against by Walmart employees and um, their uh, respective police department members. Um, we, in a nutshell, um, there's a policy where you're not uh, uh, supposed to stop someone who doesn't show a receipt um, when you when you get asked that um, or when you ask that. And uh, um, we're very well aware of this. We stop. We don't stop all the time. And basically, this last time, we got stopped by police who were on patrol in the building. And uh, they uh, detained us while they did a little investigation on seeing if we stole it, uh, the item. Uh, they failed on their investigation. Uh, they charged us with uh, shoplifting. And then the entire thing got immediately dropped uh, the, when I showed my receipt. Um, but the point is, is that we just got banned from this Walmart for uh, what we believe to be retaliation um, because we tried to report what the ha what happened to us uh, last night. Um, false imprisonment. Um, we were clearly uh, profiled and there was nothing illegal that we did and we were following all policies of the company. And um, today uh, we were basically escorted out by the police. So we didn't even get a formal warning from the employer. So there's just a bit, there's, it's a lot of uh, retaliation and um, it all surrounds their policy where they think that people have to stop uh, for um, receipts and um, they clearly don't. And so we were, yeah. So, yeah, I've got, I got a lot more details than that, but yeah, it's uh, pretty bad. I'm just going to get some general information from you that you can provide me with the remaining details. Sure, absolutely. Are you a first time caller to the ethics line? Uh, no, actually, I'm not. Thank you. And how are you made aware of Alert Line? Um, I actually had reported this uh, receipt showing thing one time before, if I recall. Um, if not, I definitely know I had called in earlier regarding uh, an issue with um, uh, self checkout lines only having credit card accessibility. Uh, and, you know, I, I pay with cash. And so um, I felt like there was some segregation there on, on that part. I called that a couple. Called in a couple of months ago on that. Thank you. What city and state did the incident occur in? Uh, this is Commerce City, Colorado. Thank you. Could you give me the address to where that store is located? Um, sure. Let me look it up here. Uh, 
Um, it's just slow. You're okay. Let me, uh, let me try and turn on my hotspot here for better internet. One second. Oh, okay, there we go. Uh, it's um, 5990 Dahlia Street. D-A-H-L-I-A Street. Uh, Commerce City 80022. Thank you. And again, that was 5990 Dahlia Street. Commerce City, Colorado. Zip code, that was 80022. Yep, that is correct. Thank you. And I understand you are a customer. Would you like to provide your contact information or remain anonymous? Um, oh, absolutely. Let's get some contact information in there. Okay, can I have your first and last name, please? Sure. Uh, William Montgomery. Thank you. And that's W-I-L-L-I-A-M. That is correct. Thank you. Last name, M-O-N-T-G-O-M-E-R-Y. Yep, that is correct. Thank you. And your email address, please? Uh, Z for zebra, O for Ontario, I for indigo, N for Nancy, B for boy, E for Edward, R for Richard, G for Gary, S for Sam, at gmail.com. Thank you. So again, that's Zornbergs at gmail.com? That is correct. Thank you. And your home, business, or mobile phone number? Um, mobile is 970-825-4421. Thank you. Again, that's 970-825-4421. Yep, and I have a secondary home phone if you like. Perfect. What's that number? 970 412 5463. Thank you. Again, that's 970 412 5463. Mm hmm. Thank you. Can I have your brother's first and last name? Uh, sure, it's David Montgomery. Thank you. And that's D A V I D. Uh huh. Thank you. Can I have the name of the employees we're reporting? That's the actual reason why I'm reporting is um, we were never spoken to by any employees of the company personally. Thank you. And what about the police officers that were on duty at the Walmart? Um, let's see here. Let me get their uh, business card. Um, oh wait, that's a different business card. Hold on one second. I'm sorry. It, everything happened very fast. If you just hang out for a second. No, you're fine. Go Thank ahead. you. You're getting paid by the hour, right? So just <laughs> relax. <laughs> I am. <laughs> All right. Oh, that's why it's my brother's jacket. Give me a second. You're fine.
I'm not sure which is the uh, specific officer. Um, there were two of them uh, that gave us their business cards. One of them is definitely going to be the main guy that spoke to us. Um, but uh, yes, it's uh, Derek Aragon. Is that Derek B E R E K? Yep. Thank you. Could you spell his last name for sure. me? Sure. Uh, a R A G O N. Thank you. And just to confirm, is he lost prevention, security, or off duty police officer? Uh, this was an on duty police officer. Badge number 2585. Or, let's put it this way. That is the detective. I think I know that the other guy is this guy, um, John Walkinshaw. Could you spell his last name for me? Sure. Uh, w A L K I N S H A W. Also, just a simply Commerce City Police Department police officer, badge number 2317. Uh, not an employee of the company. And again, that was 2317? That's correct. And his first name, that's John, J-O-H-N? Yep, that's great. Thank you. And to confirm that the main incident took place on February 12th, but you guys were retaliated against on February 13th? Um, yes, that's a very good way to put it. Uh, we were um, let go last night. Um, uh, I was cut the ticket for shoplifting. That's immediately when I turned around, showed them the receipt that they had failed in their investigation, um, they, uh, helped me basically get to the point of, um, getting a supervisor out. I reported the entire thing, um, and, uh, I thought all was well. And the next day we show up, uh, uh Dave, uh, um, uses the store, uh, without issue. I, I, I went in without issue. And then uh, only, uh, later on in this evening, uh, did, uh, um, uh, Officer Walkinshaw come in and, uh, escort us out personally without us actually talking to any employees. No, no employees uh, to date in any official capacity related, any employees of Walmart, no one has ever talked to us about uh, not being able to be there anymore. Now with the officers, did John and Derek both excuse you guys of theft last night? Um, it was, uh, th that was a different officer actually um, that was on duty that um, uh seized me, detained me for reasonable suspicion um, for not showing the receipt and then held me there while Walmart did their little investigation and failed. That guy is Don Calvano. D-O-N? Yep. And then C-A-L-V-A-N-O. Thank you. Do you have his badge number? Uh, yes. Uh, 3225. Thank you. Yeah, he is definitely... Uh, uh, probably the bigger issue uh, ultimately um that i we, we we'll deal with that on the side um uh, but yeah he was the one who was uh, uh that's going to be part of this complaint but he is the one who uh acted out um what we consider to be employee type uh, responsibilities policies um you know it's walmart's uh, you know they tell everyone they're not supposed to stop people for who don't show receipts and so he went ahead and stopped me on their behalf and and yeah um, so that was a really, really bad investigation they did live. Um, while they were holding me, they were looking up uh, video footage and stuff, and they felt as though they got enough footage to charge me. And it was actually lack of footage that they were charging me on. Um, but yeah, uh, we were retaliated against for that experience last night. Uh, we were well within our rights, completely law-abiding, following policies that Walmart themselves told us. And... Um, like I said, we got the ticket, uh, showed the receipt, got it all cleared, and then only today were we told by a police officer that some uh, employer, manager, or, or some someone that has legal authority gave them the go to go ahead and tell us to leave. And we don't know who that person. I mean, we got a name. I can go over the audio of, of the person they said that told them, but we never saw anybody ourselves. We asked the police officers if they themselves are employees of the company. They said no. Uh, we asked if they were on duty. I think they said uh, yes. So they're just in regular, normal police uh, capacity. So ultimately, yeah, we uh, two things. Um, we don't feel like we should have been uh, banned in the first place. Uh, I think we were doing a really good job secret shopping, uh, this uh, really draconian policy of showing receipts or not. 
and then um, specifically retaliated against for that by the employer who didn't follow the policy to go ahead and warn them us themselves. And that's where our biggest contention is, is now we had police tonight escort us off the property as if they have the employer's type of power and they have no ties with Walmart whatsoever. They were, they were acting out and they were basically impersonating an employee of Walmart. And was this John and Derek that escorted you guys out? Yes, there was three great. officers. Uh, there was one other, but we didn't get his business card. Okay, thank you. And can I have the name of the person that the officer said advised him that you guys could not be on the premises? Uh, sure. Um, it's in, it's uh, name is like Greg, I think. Uh, just, just give me a, a second um, uh, to put you on hold. Let me go get that um, in the audio. Okay. I gotta find it. Go ahead. Thank you. Saving this. Oh, oh, we can pause it. Uh, ma'am, are you still there? I'm still here. Uh, his name was Edward uh, uh, Brevin or something. It's it's a very hard last name. Um, Could you spell that for me? Just E D W A R D. Edward. Thank and then you. yeah, like a, 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 a honestly, I didn't catch the last name. It was illegible. But yes, they said um, that they were told by this person to escort us off the property. And so that's also our contention is I don't think this store employer, employer, business owner um, knows that he's not allowed to have non-employees go and delegate out his duties. It's very basic. We've been told anywhere and everywhere, anytime you get a formal warning off of a property, uh, for doing something like skateboarding or anything that they want, uh, you very, very basically just have to get the formal warning, which is a face-to-face -face encounter uh, with that uh, person that has those uh, that authority, uh, either a business owner, uh, um, uh, on-duty manager, or any sort of employers granted those powers. It's very basic. Yeah, formal warnings are just black and white. We don't even care about the formal warnings. So we do, in the sense that yes, it's retaliation against our completely lawful, um, should be commended uh, secret shopper type behavior of the night before. But um, it's um, how do I put this? Um, we just don't listen to people that don't have authority, and so when a police officer tells us to get off of a property technically we treated that as though it was any other regular civilian that's not an employee of Walmart acting out Walmart's official policies so that's big no no uh, I, I can understand an off duty cop um, uh, in his official capacity or not in his official capacity I mean um, basically not have a badge and he's just working as security. Uh, we see that a lot, you know, for movie theaters, things like that. Those are not police officers anymore. They are on the payroll of the employer, and they're allowed to go ahead and uh, ban people, uh, but not sworn in police officers that are just on duty uh, with their own force. Yeah, so, yeah, we uh, escort off the property by people that are not employees of the company over retaliation over nothing that actually went wrong the night before we were exercising our rights and we were actually trying to help you guys help walmart better understand their policies with regards to stopping people or not because while we uh, have been stopped in the past uh by walmart employees eventually that's that's kind of subsided most employees kind of know not to stop we also know most of them now uh, uh all the different walmarts in, in uh, denver uh however uh when a police officer um, happened to be nearby, um, the employee themselves didn't ask for the police officer to detain us, by the way, that last night. The employee only asked for our receipt, and then uh, when we didn't show it, turned around and, or not turned around, but said to us, hey, this guy's talking to you, uh, which is the police officer that was right behind them. And so the police officer did his own thing, uh, which is violative of their policy to not stop people. And uh, that's why it all went south is because he's stopping us now. But while he's holding us, they're going and doing some sort of investigation. He's not even in the back looking at video footage. He's just talking to me in the um, uh, doors. 
And so uh, he totally, completely executed a Walmart employee's job of uh, detaining us, or not even supposed to detain us. But obviously, he went ahead and arrested us off of bad information. Anyways, so yeah, um, sorry, two contentions. We got retaliated against today by non-employees for our behavior yesterday, which was not in violation of any policy whatsoever. Or statute. Or, or statute. Yeah, we did nothing wrong yesterday at all. Uh, no Walmart employees told us uh, that they that we were doing anything illegal or banned. Um, in fact, they actually told us uh, that um, you know thanks for cooperating and giving us your ID, and uh, you know you're welcome to come back. We were actually, I think, I, I recall being told that. Now, what's the supervisor hey, 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 name that you guys spoke with last uh, night? I'm, I'm so sorry. What was that? Oh, the supervisor's name that you spoke with last night. Yes. Yeah, so I called in the supervisor to Don Calvano. Uh, I tried to explain it to him. He said he would just write up a report. And so I have yet to see if they're going to file any sort of um, criminal charges for the false president for this officer. But the supervisor, Sergeant, uh, is Dan McCoy. D-A-N-M-C-C-O-Y. Yes, M-C capital C-O-Y. And it's um, badge number 2681. And so he's actually also who we reported this to tonight. And he also told us tonight himself that he believes that secu- that police officers have the delegated authority to execute formal warnings. He said that we didn't even need to be told by the business owner um, ourselves that the police have the right to do that for them. Thank you. Now, what about the Walmart supervisors that you guys spoke with last night when you thought everything was okay and you guys could return to the store? Uh, we never actually spoke with any um, supervisors or any employees directly. Uh, once we were detained and arrested, uh, we just simply uh, walked, uh, got escorted to the back of the store um, and showed uh, uh, the receipt eventually. And then just uh, I was already out halfway out the door and talking to a supervisor in the back. So I never actually spoke with any employee since then. I've never spoke to any employee at all about any of this, um, except for, I think, like one cashier or something. Thank you. Give me just a moment, please, go and organize my notes a little once we get back on the line, I'll just read you a pretty brief summary and share some access codes with you. Sure, absolutely. Thank you, thank you. Thank you.
Sure, thank you. Thank you. I just have a brief statement to you that I would like to read back to you to confirm that it is accurate. Okay, sure. So we have a summary. It reads, there's a policy stating that greeters and security are not supposed to approach customers as an attempt to force customers to show their receipts when exiting the store. On February 12th of 2017, William and David were detained and arrested for being wrongfully accused of theft at the location. Although none of the employees approached William or David, it seems as if Don assumed that David and William engaged in theft since they felt to show their receipts. Uh, really quickly, um, just to clarify, David Montgomery has never been involved in any of this whatsoever. He just happened to be present with me this evening um, to be escorted off the property. Uh, which oh, I is, apologize. Yeah. So he, um, but that's uh, like extra bad because he wasn't even involved and he still got a formal warning, uh, sh- escort. Right. But yeah, it was just me last that. night. My apologies. That's okay. Yeah, but it was just me uh, and it was over a cheese I had just purchased. Okay, love you. Thanks. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. But pretty accurate otherwise up to this point. William and David on the February 12th incident. We just changed that to William. Yep. Yeah. So where we left off, it reads here, although none of the employees approached William, it seems as if Don assumed that William engaged in theft since he felt to show his receipt. As William was detained, the company investigated the alleged theft and the accusation could not be substantiated. When, sorry, when William left the store, he was not advised of any formal action taken against him or told that he could not return to the location. On February 13th of 2017, William revisited the location with his brother David and John Derrick and another officer advised William and David that Edward advised them to escort David and William off of the property. William and David are uncertain who Edward is and why Eric felt to speak with them directly. David and William were assured that Derrick, John, and the other officer were not employees of the company. Therefore, David and William are uncertain how Derrick, John, and the officer to take some sort of initiative and escort them off the property. When David and William spoke with Dan, Dan said that the police officers had the delegated authority to execute formal warnings, which is, I'm sorry, which is a disputable remark. David and William are fully aware that Derek, John, and the other officer had no right to escort them off the property since they were not Walmart employees, and John and David were not given formal warnings. William also stated that David was not present on the incident on February 12th. Ultimately, David and William feel that David was wrongfully accused on February 12th, and they were retaliated against by the officers on February 13th. Or uh, that William was wrongfully accused on the February 12th. Uh, yeah, the, just the name there. So ultimately, William was wrongfully accused on February 12th of 2017, and William and David were retaliated against by the officers on February 13th. David and William also feel that the police overstepped their professional boundaries by wrongfully detaining William and escorting William and David off of the property. This matter should be addressed appropriately. Wow. You guys are really good at summing things up. <laughs> um, the, the only thing I would add is um, we have uh, lots and lots and lots of footage or audio footage of uh, previous encounters with Walmart. Um, probably over a dozen. Uh, maybe not that many recordings. But um, we've been... Um, Refusing to show our our um, receipts uh, to these employees in other WalMarts for a very very long time, and um, every single time they have um, asked us to stop, uh, but not detained us. Uh, they've uh, called in security to do like the little investigation on the video footage and so forth, and every single time we've always been able to come back. We've never actually not gotten a single formal warning for any of our actions or behaviors with regards to not showing receipts to employees. And that the only reason why I feel like we got retaliated here is because we got a police officer to inadvertently do their job. And only if a police officer happens to get involved, I guess, is it bad enough. Uh, But basically, we have uh, audio footage um, that we've been collecting as evidence of our other cases uh, uh, with regards to illegal move-alongs or just bad policies. Um, and so Walmart is uh, we're very well aware of us in general and of other empl- or customers in general of not stopping for receipts. And not once have we ever been told that that's um, something that we would otherwise get uh, formally warned or banned over. And so we, we do it all the time and we never have any issues whatsoever. And this just happened to be the first time that we did it that a cop stopped us and then they think that 
you know, that it was some sort of, um, we said experiment, but I don't mean that word experiment. Um, it's, I'm exercising my rights. And honestly, truthfully speaking, I don't like stopping every single time someone asks me for a receipt when I know I paid for it. I, I just don't have time in my day anymore. Uh, and I'm the only one that knows, or other people, a few people know, um, that they don't have to stop. And so I feel like the policy is getting out of control where it ends up just profiling people. And like I said, it doesn't matter, uh, if it's other Walmarts, uh, we get profiled all the time, you know, when someone asks us for a receipt and then they, we don't show it, they, they call on their security to, you know, do some research. This was the only time where a, um, police officer acted out the authority of an employee and switched everything up. We've never had an issue before with receipts, and now all of a sudden this issue comes up. But it's not an issue with receipts, because remember I had it and I showed it. I was just proving a point that cops shouldn't be detaining people on private property for um, policy-related matters of not showing receipts, and they also shouldn't be arresting people with bad information. The entire store itself did a really bad investigation. Uh, basically just well, probably saw one video and then just assumed that I was guilty. But yeah, we just I just want to clarify that we've never had any issues before with not showing receipts and we and we don't show our receipts all the time. Right. And so this was just the only time where uh, we happened to do it in front of a police officer. He didn't like that and now the store feels like they need to uh, retaliate against us for that. And quite honestly, we would really like to get our act, uh, uh, let, let me put it this way. There's a, a couple of small uh, quote unquote requests or you know that we were hoping that we could have you write down for us. This is the problems that we have ultimately. We'd like to have a printout or some sort of uh, f uh, information of what the actual receipt asking policy is, if it even is written down or if it's just an unspoken policy. Either way, we just need to have some sort of verification of what is the policy, if you guys can provide that. Uh, we also wanted to have access to the video footage that night of me allegedly theft, uh, shoplifting. Um, we, I, 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 the, re the whole reason why we were in the store tonight, um, besides sh shopping, is to ask for the formal warning policy. Uh, itself, um, just to have that, and we, we didn't get that. And then, basically, obviously, we very much like so to not be banned. We'd like to be unbanned from this. We don't feel like we did anything wrong, and we were actually trying to help you guys um, show you that you're not supposed to have police officers do your jobs for you to stop people who don't show receipts. So it's supposed to be very educational, uh, and we're not. Um, let's put it this way: we feel like we were retaliated against. Because they got our names illegally through this detaining of me with the shoplifting. And um, they uh, looked up our names and saw that we have other cases, other things online. We were told by one of the police officers that uh, when he ran our name, he noticed that we were banned from CSU, too, up in Fort Collins. But the problem is, is that that is an illegal banning, too. And we have a lot of illegal paperwork that's attached to our social security numbers now. So basically, we look frauded and people think that we're bad people, that we're mischievous or um, <clears throat> not uh, good faith or law-abiding people, but we actually very much so are. We, uh, we, we read law all the time. We uh, have to defend ourselves in all these cases all the time. We, we, we've tried attorneys. We can't get to them. And um, uh, Also, we've had a couple that are just really bad. And so uh, this was all supposed to literally be a very good uh, informational e exercise, and um, we feel as though because the police officer overstepped his bounds. Now Walmart doesn't want to look bad. And so they basically just threw us under the bus. And I feel like we're 100% completely innocent. We just want to get our rights to go shopping there back. And and continue to not show receipts. And can, and hopefully not get you know arrested for that. But I'll deal with that you know each day. But yeah, uh, definitely would like to have um, you know a printout of the uh, receipt asking policy. The formal warning policy. Maybe some video footage, but at the very least, it would be nice not to be banned anymore from this particular Walmart. It's a very good Walmart for us, um, location-wise. We don't have very much access to many resources at, in this um, metropolitan area. Excuse me. But yeah, uh, you know... We don't mind if a formal warning comes from an employee either. You know, uh, we, we respect that. But yes, we felt as though, um, like you said, they overstepped their uh, boundaries as a, um, police officers. Thank you. Just to be sure, we've documented here that this matter should be addressed appropriately. 
William and David would like a hard copy of the receipt asking policy, a copy of the surveillance video that the store reviewed, a copy of the formal warning procedure, and for the location to lift the ban. William also mentioned that he and David have a significant amount of audio recordings about similar incidents at this location and other locations. Incidents in the past have not caused David and or William to be banned or issued a formal warning. This was a one time that police interfered, causing the situation to escalate, which was not David and William's intention. Absolutely. Yep. That, yeah, we did not intend on, uh, we don't set people up. We don't uh, entrap people. Um, we just simply exercise rights because um, we don't have very many rights left to exercise in the world. And so, um, uh, you know, it's nothing personal against anybody. Um, it's nothing personal against, you know, even asking for a receipt. People can ask for receipts all they want. Um, it just gets personal when you think I have to stop when you tell me that I should, otherwise don't. So, but yeah. Um, Definitely get everything here submitted. I'm pretty sure you're used to this. Of course, I'm going to give you that report number and PIN, the access confirmation, and it gives you the ability to follow up. Yes, please. Absolutely. Thank you. Um, You're welcome. Again, uh, amazingly, um, let's put it this way. Uh, We try to get our story across to anybody and everybody, uh, our family, our friends, um, anybody really, uh, because of how deep in this rut we are in. Um, We're just a... we're being re- we're whistleblowers that are being retaliated against for finding policy violations of people, and uh, I just wanted to throw this out there that um, it's always a relief to talk to you guys because you you listen, you write the entire thing down. It actually makes a lot of sense what you um, uh, a reward for me, and so it's it's nice to, that someone else out there can actually uh, interpret these concepts and 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 transfer them. Um, we have a very hard time getting anything through to anybody these days, so I really appreciate it. Uh, but yeah, I'm ready for any uh, numbers you got here. That report number is W as in whiskey, M as in Mike, T as in tango, dash one seven, dash zero two, dash three two four seven. The pin is nine one one seven. Nine one one seven. Right, and would you like to repeat the report number back to uh, Sure. Um, WMT-1702-3247, and the PIN is 9117. All right, Beg, and because you <clears throat> provided your name and contact information with your report, the organization will be able to communicate with you directly from this point forward. However, if you don't hear anything back around February 21st, you're asked to give us a call or visit walmartethics.com to follow up. 23rd. Okay. Yes, thank you. Um, I don't like to say this, uh, so don't put this in the report uh, because that's how our all of our retaliation happens. But uh, we don't have any holds barred. We're basically tired of the, getting the runarounds and so forth. And so if Walmart isn't able to handle this situation, we've are, we're already going to attorneys for um, all of the other cases. Uh, this is nothing new to us. We're very well prepared to go ahead and file discrimination and false imprisonment. And I already have suits from the false imprisonment last night anyways going. I don't want to say this, um, but yeah, it, it would be very, very nice if Walmart could not retaliate against us for trying to right. report this. So. Now, hopefully you guys aren't retaliated against. Now, in the event where you are retaliated against and you still decide to take legal action, just be sure to call and update your report. We can add that, and you can also get a copy of the report. Yeah, that's exactly exactly what I'm trying to get across. Is um, uh, I would want to um, eventually fill in the report for you guys' side to know that basically we tried, and we're still trying first, right. you know, good faith. But if there is no good faith on your guys' side, uh, we've gotten the finger before. We understand um, but we also think people can be civil and cordial still. And we we're hoping that uh, this could be one of those situations. I think Walmart could really step up to the plate here, take responsibility, um, put these cops in their place. They're not supposed to be doing uh, employee-type jobs. And um, truthfully speaking, uh, ultimately, I, I don't think this release receipt policy is ever going to work long-term because of problems like this where the information never gets out fast enough. And, uh, you know... Police don't know what the policies are themselves, and if they don't, then they shouldn't be there patrolling either. I mean, they should be patrolling, period, because it's their, their jurisdiction, but, you know, let's put it this way. We're going to keep 
not showing our receipt because we don't have to. And so if we keep getting arrested and banned from all these Walmarts, we're not going to have any Walmarts left to go buy our food from. And that would be really bad. So we're hoping you guys can go the right direction and not the wrong direction. I think this report tonight that you gave is fantastic. I think it's really accurate. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, you're welcome. I'll go get, ahead and get everything submitted over. I want to thank you for calling. And again, I hope everything works out. Awesome. Thank you very much, ma'am. Take care. You're welcome.